Monday, you're watching the stew with your favorite girls on daytime talk show. Hey. I'm Anika. <laughs> I'm Les. <laughs> and I'm Janae. There you go, honey. Yes. Welcome to the show and thank you so much for tuning in with us. We want to dive right in because there's so much going on in the country. It is still silly season, people. Silly yes, season is. is still here. <laughs> I don't know if you've watched the convention last week. There's been a lot going on. Ooh, there sure has. But um, now we have Mr. Alfred Sears now vying for the seat. Um, well, was, he vied was, for, was the seat. for the seat. <laughs> okay. And he did not get the majority of votes. It was an absolute landslide victory for Prime Minister Perry Christie, who will remain uncontested, I Isn't guess. Isn't that crazy? Will, going After into 100 the years, elections. you can still <laughs> rule a <laughs> country. It. Pretty yes, much. Sure. Hey, one shuffle, one Fidel shuffle Castro day. did oh it, goodness. so why not? You but know? for me, it is really reminiscent of what happened with uh, Loretta Minnis, in my opinion, anyway. Mm -hmm. she, was claim she claimed that she was done wrongly, and then we know on this side, Alfred says Sears really was didn't get the best end of this stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but according to an article in the Daily, um, well, articles in the Daily's last week, he said that he is going to remain um, faithful to the party and committed mm. to the party because he feels that the PLP is still the best party to progress the country further, mm. and he will continue to be in the party. Because I know that was one of the things that everyone was wondering about. You know, mm. is he going to stay? Is he going to leave? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? But but you he, realize he committed. Alfred Sayers is probably one of the only people I know that has not been caught up in a scandal yeah. as, mm -hmm. in terms yeah. of being an MP. Yep. So yep. I mean, we. we we all know that you know he can stand for some great yeah. things, you yeah. know. Yeah. So it's just unfortunate. But um, as we but all know, that loyalty thing, thing, that loyalty <laughs> thing is for real. It's not yeah. always the case where the growing. best man wins. Yeah. So you know. So well, talking about um, the fa scandals, mm -hmm. they're trying to say there was an article that came out um, last week also that says that Bahamas is on the top set of countries that the least corrupt in the world. Denmark reaching number well, one for the least corrupt. Perceived. Um, perceived. Yes. Wow. The least amount of perceived corruption is how it was phrased. Well, I was going to get there. Okay. What, that, what exactly uh, does that mean to me? It's that all, like, you, you can tell that's all perception because that's yeah. not my perception. Yeah, yeah. You know? I swear. What does it it's mean? It's like, do y'all live here what in does the Bahamas? It mean when they say perceived. I mean, can you explain further why are we not using facts? What does that mean? It sounds like alternative facts to me, but <laughs> it, what does it, that mean? It could be. I mean, they're look, I mean, as with every kind of of, uh, let's say, survey of sorts. They're looking at certain things and they're saying, okay, well, check, check, check. They're mm. not, I mean, they did say that, you know, when looking deeper, we'd really have, the Bahamas, in order to stay or maintain on this list, they'll have to have freedom of information, right. of course. Yep. They're going to have to disclose a lot better what's happening with Taxes, tax money. Yep, yes. um, so there's certain things. So I think Bahamas is there for now, yeah. in my, from my understanding. But if these things don't happen anytime soon, then, mm -hmm. I mean, we're just going to continue down the ranks. Yeah. Barbados, for example, we surpass them mm -hmm. as the least, one of the perceived least corrupt mm -hmm. um, countries. But again, it's like checking these boxes. Mm -hmm. Did they come down because they were up there in the beginning? Because like, oh, yeah, you guys have the right model. But if you don't continue to push yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or execute exactly. certain things, then, you know, it makes no sense. That's yeah. it. All right. Yeah. Got it. Well, speaking of politics mm -hmm. and all of that we have to uh, talk about politics and dating mm -hmm. Anika. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. such a touchy topic you Thoughts know and on it's that. never really a favorite <laughs> of mine should you talk about politics with someone that you just started dating um, I say no 
I say, especially at least not on a first date. Um, you know, you give people an opportunity to at least get to know them mm -hmm. first before you start talking about who you're voting for. Interesting. And who your MP I is. I beg to defer. Yeah. I say lay it all out on the table mm -hmm. because for one, it makes for great conversation. Mm -hmm. It's going to spark your interest. You're curious about that person. Mm -hmm. You want to know what that person's values mm -hmm. are. And in this day and age, honey, I don't know about none of y'all, <laughs> but I ain't got time to waste, okay? Oh. Are we going to have a date number two? or three mm -hmm. let's get out all the the so major you don't want talk you don't want to talk about you know what he what, what his goals are first no, of so course you, you know of course okay. of that, course that's you want to have a conversation, conversation. <laughs> she's like it's yeah. all in one listen but, who you but, going for who but, you want to be this will be a long conversation Statist let's put it that statistically way. what kind, what <laughs> ends relationships politics religion finances mm -hmm. yeah right so if you really don't want to waste time, you better touch those That's three what I'm saying. right now. Get it all out, <laughs> and then move on. I mean, we kind of okay. all, you know. I mean, mm, some of us mm. just get it all okay. out. Don't okay. waste any time. I'm playing cute. You know, yeah. I'm playing cute. Who yeah. you voting for? <laughs> yeah, I hope you voting for the right person. Okay. So in other news. Um, History has been made once again. You know, it's awards season, so yes. the Oscar nominations have just come out. She's and excited. our dear Viola Davis has uh, surpassed the number of nominations for an African American mm -hmm. in general. Yes. It's tie, she surpassed the tie she had with Whoopi Goldberg. Right. Um, and uh, congratulations to Viola Davis. She has made history once again. Now, mm -hmm. I have to watch Fences. I have not watched it. I, I actually have it. to watch some of her movies in general because yeah. she has been killing well, it. Well, I can tell you, I've seen all three of the movies that she's been nominated for an Oscar for. And what I find so absolutely incredible and amazing that I love about Viola Davis in both Doubt and Fences, to me, there was literally one scene that lasted all of, oh, I don't know, four to five minutes where she killed it. It was the Oscar-nominated scene, both in Doubt and now in Fences, that Got her the nomination, and there you go. Can you act it out for me? To her. Yeah, can you do one of them? Just, just what is? We don't have enough time, hon. Oh, sorry. oh, there you go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But anyway, so <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean that, that's that's amazing, mm. and you know, yeah, when we can put on these performances and you, you know, kind of connect mm -hmm. with it, it's just. Such an and you know what, thing. ladies? Also on the topic of films, congratulations to our very own Kareem Mortimer, filmmaker, mm. right here from the two four two. He just recently released his teaser trailer for his feature film, Cargo, which, oh, can I just say this real quick? It was actually a part of it filmed in my neighborhood the other day. This was like last year, year before last. Anyway, it was so strange, but I came home and I got <laughs> a little notice that, um, I guess, informed everyone in the neighborhood, don't be alarmed if you see a big trailer and this and that and people moving about. It's just a film, a small little film that's being shot. So many a day I was able nice. to be like, oh, hey, cool, guys. And nice. Anyway. Sidebar. Congrats, but, uh, Kareem. Yes, congratulations to Kareem and the entire team on that. Looking forward to seeing Cargo when it's released. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Anika, another 242 congratulations <laughs> news. It's pageant season, yes. and our Miss Universe, Sherelle Williams, has completely killed it. She has slayed, slaughtered on the grand stage in none other than Mr. Theodore Elliott. Yay, oh my goodness, Theo. look at that dress. That oh, she killed it. Yeah, Gotta say congratulations to the so both of them, amazing. Theo. We yeah. love you so much. Sherelle, and it was, the third, it was the first time, according to Theo, I saw the social media post. Yep. It was the first time in 13 years that a Bahamian designer yep. was responsible for the Miss Bahamas contestant for her wearing <laughs> that outfit, wearing a gown. So so That's congratulations yeah. and congratulations you, for competing and well yeah. done at the yes. pageant. Mm -hmm. It was this past. It was yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. Well, it was this, yeah in the yeah. Philippines. Yesterday. Yeah, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, and she did extremely well. So congratulations, and we can't wait for you to come home. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got more stew, ladies. On the other side of the break, our man crush Monday. Well, it's several of our them. It's man, man, crush. Crush man crush Monday, Monday today. Monday. You don't want to go anywhere. We're talking artists. We're talking participants on the other side of this. We'll see you when we get back. <laughs>
Welcome back to the stew. We know that you're used to this trilogy, but today we have another trilogy in town and on our couch. Today we have Stefan, Alan, and Jamal, all incredible artists from right here in the Bahamas, joining us for a quick chit chat about participate. Gents, get out here now! <laughs> Jamal, are you playing hide and seek? <laughs> I think he's playing hide and seek just now. Just come on out, come on out, come on out, come on out. <laughs> Hello, Hi. good morning. Thank you for joining us. Hello. So much style. So <laughs> much, I mean, oh come on, man. <laughs> good morning. Take a seat, Jess. Like, yes. Round and round. Oh, round. I know. Oh, <laughs> How are you guys doing? Uh, awesome. First you of all, you look so dapper as per usual. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Um, we know you all as individual, like, incredible artists, but I think it's absolutely amazing that you've come together to form Trilogy. You know, we know, Stefan, you've had Airbrush Junkies for, what, what is it, 25 years? 25 years. In, wow. in Marathon Mall. We know, Alan, awesome. from seeing your uh, murals on Bay Street and now with the salt art that's gone viral. And, of course, we have the celebrity artist here who's yes. done work for everybody from Obama to DJ Khaled. Yes. So how, does, how do you infuse or, you know, fuse all of this superpower into one? That's now Trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Well, getting that um, that energy from each artist that, I mean, we wanted to create something that's new. Mm -hmm. We wanted to create a masterpiece. After constant comparisons, and I felt that people trying to make us rivals, mm -hmm. right, you know, right. we, we decide to turn the concept on its head mm -hmm. and let's create a, a trilogy. You know, there's a range of artists that have eclectic styles. Um, we would do from portraits to landscapes, every material, and with, with Alan doing every <laughs> material. Material that aren't <laughs> traditional art materials. Food, everything. Salt yeah. and everything. And mm -hmm. so I think it's, it's a beautiful thing as we um, collaborate to create a masterpiece. Right now it's called Participant. And it's where you get an opportunity to get into our space as artists and to, to paint with us, to chill with us, and to help us create, create a masterpiece. Each person's gonna have blank canvases, yes. and you could make your mark, and you could come and have a drink, listen to some music by DJ SL, DJ Ignite. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be um, the greatest Wow. You know, so, entertainment. Jamal, you know, seeing so. as you were the first one to speak up, should I take it then that you consider yourself the brainchild of this operation? Well, <laughs> he's actually the mouthpiece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so so who called who we, first? We dubbed, we dubbed him. Yeah. yeah the dubbed I, I'm the, you know, I'm but the I mean, guy. I I came up with the idea a couple years ago. Okay. It was it was actually uh, a dream of mine. I wanted nice. I wanted to work with these guys. I wanted because I I, I I knew. Jamal from back then, from when he was in high school and he was doing his drawings. And I always used to try and encourage him to, to get into the airbrush, nice. you know what I mean? To, yeah. to apply the airbrush to his work. And then Alan, you know, I knew Alan too. And you know, we bumped into each other too. One time I was doing some artwork on the street. Okay. Um, at this barbershop, right? Right. That you was know? high school then. Yeah, <laughs> and it's high school too. So, you know, and I was following, you know, their careers as well. And, right. and I was always at, at, um, admiring their work and inspired by their work too, so I wanted to work. Did I just hear that Alan was a barber? Is that what you <laughs> no, just no, said? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing work on a barber. Yeah, he was doing Because I was about yeah. to say. Yeah. 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 I like, yeah. 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 I know, I was like, whoa. So I was like, you know what? We, we just need to come together, you know, like Voltron. And, and stuff and saying yeah. this like for a few years. Yeah, it used to be yeah. after these guys. Yeah, and I, really? after. Yeah, and I think it's okay. it's a good thing yeah. for an artist. For me, these guys inspire me. Mm -hmm. um, That's a great thing. You know, these yeah. who I who I who I look up to. And a good thing about the camaraderie is we we are actually friends. We have a yeah. friendship where we yeah. we don't always talk about art. Yeah. Right, and, you know, right. And so I think it's other a, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's other stuff, thing. huh? Yeah, other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Other stuff. <laughs> so, Alan, what's it like for you with your, you know, experience and your talents collaborating with these guys? Because each of you are so unique 
in your yeah. own special that's way. Makes, yeah. That's what makes the solid so good. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah my, I love and respect these guys, man. So that, that, that makes it fun, you know. Yeah. I love that you said that. Um, you said people try to compare you and make you rivals, but I've noticed that right. you've collaborated, which is something we don't see often. People yeah. feel like they have to compete yeah. mm -hmm. as yeah. opposed to working together. So what kind of advice do you give to young people, you know, entrepreneurs coming up that may want to collaborate with other people but feel like, you know, I want to share, I don't want, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. Once they once they become um, the best version of themselves, I know yeah. that's been said a, a lot, I mean, um, once they do that, they don't have anything to worry about. Mm -hmm. right. You know, they don't have anything to worry about. No finger on, on, on a hand, like, it, it, is competing with it. Yeah. You know, the other finger, so what's not? Okay. You it's know, you can, like you can never lose. Yeah, mm -hmm. what's for you is for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and we took the concept that, um, you know, we're, we're movements within ourselves, but we're a force yeah. when we're together. together. Yeah. You I know, love we that. could just wow. um, make, it, make it stronger, and it has. That's I Neil, remember. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can say, you know, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I, you know, and and I remember um, we, we were doing a painting at a, an event, and I had my struggles with a part of it. Mm -hmm. Like I was, um, we wanted to to do the sketch part. I said, well, Arlen better for that because you know Arlen could use the paintbrush mm -hmm. and do do that part. Mm -hmm. And then I'm a guy who would come and do the details, and Arlen, you know, we would say highlight them the yeah, pieces. I don't know. I was Detail trying to, to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to do this lettering, and I was struggling with this. Oh, that's wow. amazing. And then Stefan came well, and just. Yeah. Sh so you guys don't have a piece right. together. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Okay. Move on the so way. Move on the way. Too. A big congrats to you, Alan, yes. because I mean it's been a whirlwind year already, and it just got started. You were yeah. featured on BuzzFeed for Salt Bay. Is yeah, that salt, it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and uh, then um, Time, <laughs> Time magazine Time. also yeah, featured huge. it. So that, yeah. I mean that's you're making huge waves mm -hmm. in the country. So we want to send a big congrats. Yes. Thank but you very much. I want to talk about Participate. So this okay. is a second installment. Right. Yes. You, how was the first event? I mean, how was it received? And what are you expecting from the second event? When is it? It's um, Saturday. Sa sa February Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday. Week. Next um, week Saturday. The first event was great. We got a, a huge response. And everybody's excited to see the new one. And like mm -hmm. artists, this is our um, second attempt out of piece, mm -hmm. and naturally we would um, improve it. We've taken into consideration some of the things that people wanted to see, and glad that people excited to see it. And you know, even me as an artist, I, I'm um, curious to see what they come up with as an artist. And Stefan about to do. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm some, going to some some body, <laughs> body painting yeah, and stuff like that. Right? Yeah. But how is that creation process crazy. then? If you you're starting from a blank slate, what I mean, how does it all get into a masterpiece for you guys? What's the process? I don't know what it does for me. I I just do it. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's I just don't. Something guy. He's like, I'm just great. You know, <laughs> I just show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love it. Not it's not really, you know, sometimes talent. sometimes yeah. I would. Um, you know, I, I you know I love Pinterest. Yeah. And uh, I, I, yeah. I, I go on Pinterest and I just to look at the photos, just to get inspiration. Yeah. I, I get inspiration from everything. Anything I see, mm -hmm. even from you guys now. Yeah. You know, and um, rather inspired. than planning something <laughs> to paint, I just you know, I said, you know what? Just let me yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. Well guys, we have to wrap things up, but before yeah. we yeah. do, yeah. are there any shout outs that you want to give to anyone out there? You know, any <laughs> Um well I would shout out encourage? to all of our supporters. Um, you know, I'm grateful for the support everywhere we go, people acknowledge our work, people ask us to take photos with us. Yeah. And I'd like to encourage um all of the youth and the young people who want to um achieve their dream. Do not accept the status quo, mm -hmm. quo um, but transcend that. Um, don't let people tell you that you can't do what you want to do. People see a situation that they can't deal with and tell you you can't deal with it. All of us has um, heard all of the naysayers in abundance who say that you, art isn't a real job or you can't, you know, you can't make money from it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, glad to be a testimony here, someone that who you who came from the ghetto areas, who went and sat in the seats of uh, the people in the um, government schools, 
here, you know, all of us have um, impacted the country and indeed the world. And I just want to encourage everybody to do that. Well, you know what, guys, I got to say this. What I would love to see in all of your future and something that I could envision is perhaps a mural painted by the three of you at the airport as soon as we return back to our shores. Let's speak that into yes. existence. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to get started yes. with Participate, yes. their event. Don't miss it. It's happening Saturday. Saturday, February 4th at the Art Room yes. on East Bay Street. East Bay Street. What's the time? Um, it starts at 7. 7. Ends at 12. Okay, and of course, you know what? Always follow these guys on social media. That's how I know about everything yes, that they're yes, doing. Yes. They're all over social media. So we hope to see you there, and we will see you right after this commercial break. This is The Stew. <laughs> Welcome back to The Stew, and I've got your very first wellness tip of 2017. Now, a brand new year usually brings with it personal goals and expectations to achieve a healthier lifestyle. But while most people only consider increasing physical activity and changing eating habits, we must also remember to feed the soul. So while you're getting in gear for the new year with your diet and exercise regimen, take these tips also into consideration for improving your overall well-being being by feeding and treating your mind, your soul, and your heart. So the plan is to keep your spirits up for 2017. And based on an article I read recently by writer Donna Fitzgerald on the dailypositive.com, I've already put the plans in motion for tip number one, volunteering. Not only would others benefit tremendously by you giving of your time and efforts, it's a great mood booster. You could try volunteering at a homeless outreach, youth empowerment organization, senior citizen housing, or a health advocacy group, just to name a few. Tip number two, try being crafty, artistic, or traveling. These are three great ways to explore something new, broaden your horizons, and add another interesting aspect of being alive to your life. When was the last time you read a good book? What a better way to take a trip outside of your neck of the woods than with a seasoned author. Take up a new hobby or try doing something with your hands. Learning to do a new activity that you enjoy will ensure you to keep the blues away. Then there's two of my personal favorites, movies and travel. Can't get on a plane right now? Curl up with a good flick and take your mind off your worries if only for a couple of hours. Then of course, taking a trip is perhaps one of the best ways to rediscover oneself, discover new places and people. And while we're on the subject of people, the final tip to staving off the blues for 2017, number three, build relationships. For the individuals that mean the most to you in this world, let them know that as much as possible and remind yourself as well that you love them by making a greater effort for spending time with them. You could also possibly be an inspiration to someone else as well. And that's your wellness tip with Les. I'll see you next time. So this has been Monday. Um, I want to send again a big thank you to Alan, Stefan, and Jamal for coming out and talking about Trilogy Participate, which is happening on February 4th at the Art Room. You guys going to attend? Oh, for sure. Should oh, we yeah. make this like a dating thing for Leslie? Yes. Oh, good lord. Let's that find would you be... a painting, drinking oh, wine kind of man. What is Ooh. with you two? Yeah. Yes. It's on and popping, girl. It's 2017. We ain't got no time to waste. Mm. <laughs> you you talking about you want to talk politics on a date? <laughs> Make it happen, Let's right? make it happen. <laughs> so again, Love thank it. you to Sherelle, or not thank you, but congrats to Sherelle Williamson, mm -hmm. who competed at Miss Universe this weekend, and a big congratulations to Theodore Elliott, who made such a mark with his gown that she wore at on the stage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, again, a lot to ha happen in, in silly season. You don't want to miss out what's going to continue to happen as we approach election time. <gasps> Oh mm -hmm. my, are you registered to vote? I, I actually have to still go and register. Okay, so I'm registered. Let's yeah. all go, people. I'm ready. Let's all go together. Yeah. Let's do a, me uh, like a big meetup. A big reminder, register to vote. Yep. We will be registering to vote. Yep. Um, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Have a good one. When the vibe is right We can talk about anything you like uh, Just listen, listen. Take 
they go off right 